With that grant, we are planning to do more for the better income for the family. So this grant will help to support five pilot truck driver. And but this truck driver, we need they need to have like English skill. So we start with ten months English skill, and after that they're gonna have the permit and they're gonna apply for the license. So that will help and that will change the family into the better income and even though they can become like middle class income. But that, that is not the main uh, concern, but our main concern is that five family, they can send their children to Catholic school. And we really love to send all of the Zomi Catholic children to Catholic school. We, with the small local grant, we're going to be working mostly in Washington County with Cat most predominantly Catholic churches over there. Working right now a little bit with St. Pius X. So we're working, we, we did a, a couple of trainings there, and uh, so we'll be listening to them about what the pressures are, the needs that they see locally and, and maybe more broadly in the state, and we'll follow their lead and support them in, in uh, advocating for themselves and their community. Jesus did say that we would always have the poor among us. He did not say that we need to be resigned to this state. So social justice is correcting the laws, the organizations, the cultures that perpetuate this, these needs. As we mature, our hearts lead us to advocate to feed the hungry through safety nets and food policies, to give to the thirsty drink that is clean and universally accessible, to welcome the stranger through immigration reform and immigrant rights, to shelter the homeless by ending homelessness through policies that create affordable housing and treat mental health, to ensure that our government does not pay for elective abortions, and society funds systems that support our financially challenged mothers. Both and. Social justice is Catholic because it's based in Catholic social teaching, often described as our best kept secret. It is a teaching founded on the life and words of Jesus Christ. Central to CCAC is the belief that those who are directly affected by unjust systems and structures have the best insight into knowing how to change them and how to address the root causes of their poverty. They don't want us to simply talk about Jesus. They want us to show them Jesus. A very powerful way we contemplate the face of Christ in the poor, in the abandoned forsaken, the, the widows and orphans of our own day. Really meeting people where they are, getting to know them, listening to their story, realizing these are real people, not all that unlike you and me. Far too many people are shooting off at the mouth about things they really don't know very much about. Because they really don't know the real face of the people they're talking about. You are the people on the front lines, getting your hands dirty, touching the lives of these people that we are serving. Whatever your personal motivations may be for doing the great work that you all do, know that our motivation comes from our faith and our desire to see in those that you serve and work with the face of Christ.